Good morning everyone, Angela Ackerman, Independent Scentsy Consultant. Today's video is what I've been warming. I know, isn't that such a cool little uh, classy basket? <laughs> um, hey, it is what it is. All right, so what have I been warming? I went through a, I finished up a fragrance flower. This one was in uh, like an apple, apple cider something, um, mold apple cider maybe. Uh, I really liked the scent. I have decided between the two types of flowers, um, the Buttercup Bell or the Dahlia, I like the petals on the Dahlia better. So I probably will be ordering that one more often than this one. Now keep in mind, these petals are something I colored. The, the, the fragrance flower does not come like this, it comes white. And then you can use magic marker to color them. And when the oil soaks up, it makes it these unique, bright, vibrant colors. So it's very cool. But I like the petals on these ones better because it kind of hides the dust and stuff better. Now, like on this one, like it's got dust and some hair on it. It's actually quite gross. <laughs> and But you can see it much better on the white and because the petals are larger. So I, I have, like with the dahlias, I don't experience that as much. So I will say in the future, I probably will just be ordering the dahlias because I like them better. All right, so next on the list, I went through a Bright Cider Life hand soap and a Cedar Cider Room Spray. If you're not doing this yet, and you, so if you are a consultant and you work in an office, that would allow you to take product for people to try, I suggest you do it. I took both of these into work and I put them in one of the bathrooms in our office. And I ended up, we have three bathrooms in our office. We probably have about 20-ish people. So it's not a very big office. But I put a hand soap and a room spray in each of the bathrooms. And from doing so, I acquired three new to Scentsy, um customers had never tried Scentsy before and it upped my sales with my regular customers as well because a lot of people don't even know the extra, the different products that we sell. They just think wax and warmers. They don't realize we have a hand soap or dish soap or room sprays. They don't know that we have those products. So by putting them out there, it gives the people an opportunity to try them and, uh, and it boosted my sales. So just a suggestion if you're able to do so. All right, so I went through a bar of vanilla bean buttercream and actually it, was, it wasn't a full bar, it was a partial bar. I'm trying to get through several of my partial bars. I have a whole basket over here that um, I, you know, I've only used part of them, so I'm trying to get through them, but it's just slow going. I finished up a bar of icicles and evergreen. This one happens to be one of my favorite scents right now. I really like this one and the scent of the month for this month, which is uh, Black Forest Pine. If you haven't tried either of these, uh, they're so amazing. I'm not, I, I like pine scents, but I'm not like a super fan. So I can, I mean, it's, it's not a must have. These, both of these, I actually put into my club order because I want to keep getting them. They're that amazing. Amazing. Okay. Uh, I finished off a Pina Colada Cha Cha, which this one is by far my favorite scent. Um, it's, you know, pineapple and coconut and makes you think you're on the beach. So anytime I can be on the beach, whether it's just in my mind or for real, I'm good with that. I went through a tinsel berry and a cinnamon bear. <clears throat> cinnamon bear, I was I was actually surprised. I thought cinnamon bear was going to be uh, way stronger than it was. I would say it was more of a medium, like between like a six and a seven in strength out of ten. That's what it was. Um, and I, for some reason, maybe because it's a cinnamon scent, I thought it was going to be way stronger, 
but it wasn't. But the other thing too was, is I would like, I alternated, um, warmers. So I would put like two bars in the, of cinnamon berry in one and then two of the tinsel berry in the other. So it wasn't maybe so overwhelming, but either way I had it in the warmer for a couple of days and by the couple of days it was ready to replace it. I finished off a fairy tale pumpkin. Now when I finished this one off, I don't know if it was just because I wasn't in the mood for it because I'm ready for Christmas and I'm because when I originally melted this, I really liked it. it. I didn't like it enough to put it in my club order, but I liked it enough that I was fine finishing off the bars that I had. When I finished it off this time, again, I don't know if it was because I'm not in fall mode, I'm in Christmas mode, so it it's more of a fall scent. Um, but I didn't care for it as much this time as I did the first time I warmed it, so. Okay, um, I went through a mold cider and spice. I've just been trying to go through, you know, some Christmassy scents because um, it's time. This is my favorite time of year. I love Christmas. And oh, and I will say about the mold cider and spice, it it was a good scent. Uh, it won't go in my club order. It was nice to have while I had it. Like I'll finish the bar, great, okay. But it's not. I. I don't know that I would reorder it, even if it was available. It was okay. But to me, there's other great apple cinnamon scents that I would rather have. Okay, Silver Bells. Silver Bells is actually a favorite of mine. Um, I was a consultant like 10 years ago for a short period of time. Wish I would have stuck with it. But uh, when when I was a consultant before, Silver, Barrel, Sil Silver Bells has been one of my favorites. So I was really glad to see that this one is still in the catalog and still available. I probably would will put this in my club order um, when the winter catalog goes away, just so I can make sure that I maintain that one. Uh, I went through a Homestead Holiday. I know that Homestead Holiday is a really popular one. Lots of people like it. Uh, it really wasn't for me. It was okay, but it wasn't, it didn't leave me wanting more. It wasn't something that I was like, yeah, I can't wait to melt that one again. It was just okay for me. And it was a medium. It wasn't a really strong scent for me. I had it in my living room in two warmers. And part of it could be my warmers and part of it could be my living room. Because my living room has vaulted ceilings, which makes it difficult for me to scent. And then in addition, um, it is hard for me to or I have the one of the warmers that I have in there I have a nativity warmer which is open and then I have the Santa countdown or the snowman countdown which has a lid on it so I don't know if having the lid on it is preventing um like the the scent to escape so it's harder to melt out the, or you know melt in that warmer I'm gonna I have a diffuser going right here I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off just for a sec. Okay, so um, either way, it was it was all right, but not a must have for me. I went through. I finished off a salted caramel toffee. Uh, this one is good. I actually prefer it. I actually prefer it mixed with apple Johnny Appleseed, but it was good plain. I finished off a perfect peppermint for me. Uh, this is a very Christmas smell. Just you know. Candy canes. <laughs> okay, I finished up a couple of pods. So I went through a toasted acorn and oak. <laughs> See, it says used on there. <laughs> um, Cause I, yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, toasted acorn and oak. This was a great scent. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not because I thought it was going to be more woodsy, but it wasn't. It's actually more of a bakery scent. So uh, I went through a very snowy spruce. Actually, I have this in my house right now. Uh, uh, next to my tree. So I'm running these for the next few weeks next to my tree to make it really smell like, you know, a real tree because it's not. I'm a fake tree girl. And finally, I finished up a mystery man. I had done these as uh, like a gift bag type thing. 
where I'd mixed Mystery Man and Johnny Appleseed together. Mystery Man actually has grown on me. Um, I'm not a super man scent person, but uh, that one's actually kind of mild and it's good. I, I like that one. And then finally, I went through a scent circle of Spiced Ember Glow. Um, this one came out of my husband's truck and it actually still has a little bit of scent left to it. But that's what I've been warming. What have you guys been warming? What's your favorite uh, Christmas scent right now? Have you tried any new products? Um, if this uh, video was helpful to you, don't forget to like it. If you have any comments, please comment below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified when my videos post. Thank you guys so much and have a great day.